You would think I am better prepared as a Virgo for New York Fashion Week, but baby, this is my first time. There's so many moving pieces that I'm so excited to share prepping for New York Fashion Week. Not just obviously all the fits I have in mind for the events. We have Essence, we have a couple of fashion row, front row fashion shows, and of course, shopping. Gotta go and do some shopping. There's gonna be so many activations that just obviously don't come to Detroit that I'm so, so excited to go and check out. Plus the lashes, the brows need to be taken care of. There are a couple of things from Target I think I wanna pick up, like Elf has this new brow thing I think I wanna try because I've been using Maybelline for a long time. I'm hoping like my couple of packages from Amazon come in and of course getting into what I will actually be hopefully wearing. I still don't have a nail down y'all for fashion week. As you see, I already got my little drinky drink, a rose pistachio latte to calm the nerves and get me thinking clearly. If you happen to be new here, I am Jordan Blackwell, former sustainable materials engineer turned lifestyle content creator behind Little Miss JB Style, helping you find not just what's gonna look good, cause baby, we're gonna be looking good, but of course what's also going to feel good, cause girl, when I tell you that transition, that mindset switch, that's how I started to be more confident, wear what I wanna wear and stop wasting money <laughs> and have a closet of clothes that I just love to put on. Like I have too many options now. When I look at my closet, it's like, I don't ever not know what to wear. It's like, okay, but this could, then this could, okay, we got options. What party next door say? <laughs> you got options, girl. That's not even how he's saying it. Uh, Y'all know my, my pitch, my pitch, where my voice is at, my range. Anyway, this is the itinerary. I'm running a little bit behind. We need to go and get these lashes taken care of at Deca Lash. And I think that Danielle's just gonna shape it. We're gonna see what the timing looks like because I do also like to get my brows laminated. It just saves time. Like when I think about my beauty routine now, a lot of it may look high maintenance. The press-ons save me so much time. Having my brows laminated just saves me time. The, lash the lashes, how much time that has saved me, y'all. The only thing I really wish that I was gonna have time for, I thought I was gonna be able to get my hair trimmed. It's not crazy long, but I really love when it's in like super sport mode, like super short. It's just so much easier to like wet, comb through style. But my girl Niani of Butte Anthology, who is the only girl I trust with my curly hair cuts, she tore her ACL. <laughs> like what are the odds my fellow Virgo my fellow Virgo business owner who does my hair, gets me right, also tears her ACL. So she's going through recovery right now. She had her surgery like early August. So she's still in that first month of just, if any long-term viewers remember, like over on my Instagram and my blog, like my second recovery, whoo, whoo. So I already know she's going through it that like, as much as I want to hit her up like, hey girl, hey girl. I mean, I, I, you can just, you, can you just fit me in? Can you just? obviously would not ask that from my girl being in recovery. So let me go ahead and make a smoothie because I'm starving. I need something to drink. My skin's been acting up and I wanna make sure that it is glowy and amazing. And we're gonna head to Decalash, run to Target, like I said, to pick up one or two things. Then we're gonna get into all this, all the amazing outfit ideas for Essence, for the fashion shows. Of course, to get the content, build the portfolio. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, I'm so excited. my smoothie honestly I drink one of these every 
day for glowy skin, making sure I'm getting enough protein, cause baby, we do not want those workouts to go to waste. I also took the quick second, put some clothes in the washer and the dryer because the other thing about today is like, I'm also cleaning. I love to come home to a clean house after a vacation. So it's like clothes are getting dried right now. Definitely need to make my bed. The towels are getting washed. I have all kinds of <laughs> shoes cause I just got back from hanging out with my family in Bolingbrook for the long weekend for Labor Day weekend. So literally it's like got back Monday. Here we are Tuesday trying to get everything done because tomorrow I am filming for Valentino. That is right, landed a really amazing collaboration with them over on Pinterest. So I will be spending all Wednesday making sure that that is going smoothly. I'm getting all the shots, all the A-roll, all the call to actions, tons of B-roll because once I shoot, babes, I'm not shooting again without some extra shmoney. Plus, I also don't want to be shooting while I'm in New York. So I want to make sure I have all of that stuff done done tomorrow and i want to give that all of my energy because of course i wanted to do well like every brand partnership to me is an opportunity obviously to do better and better and better so when i say i put so much time and effort into the brand deals and the brand collabs i get it's literally a eight hour ten hour day from getting the scripting together setting everything up running through like the shot list because baby okay there's a reason this is absolutely a job Y'all know, you've seen the content, you see what I put out there. It's, it's a labor of love for sure. So that is in t my entire day tomorrow. I also am praying that my Amazon package shows up later today. If not, I'll make sure tomorrow because it's for my makeup. And the other thing that I forgot, y'all, I was supposed to get one of these suitcases, okay? Y'all remember me complaining after packing for my long trip and a couple of my other trips, I need a small roller suitcase because when y'all see the outfits and the pieces, it's not that I'm bringing a lot, they're just big, right? Like they're big. I'm going for looks this New York Fashion Week. So I don't know that I want to squish it in a carry-on because of course you got like purses and shoes and things like that. But then that also means I won't have a roller bag in the airport and I'm not carrying around another heavy tote. Like I'm not doing that again. So let me get hydrated, get acclimated, get all this goodness into my skin. So go ahead and grab your drink and let's head over to Decalage. Turn right onto West 11 Mile Road. Got the lashes done. There was a little miscommunication about the brows. I thought we had scheduled to get them nice and done. However, we did not have time today and she had an appointment at four. So we're gonna run to Target real quick. Like I said, there's a couple things I wanna pick up. Then you're gonna get a quick view <laughs> of just my like brow maintenance routine. We're just gonna take a little bit of those baby hairs off because I just want a nice clean arch for when I like fill it in. It just, again, Having your brow shaped is like literally is just like the key when you have good shaped brows It's so much easier to fill them in do my makeup. So that's what we're gonna do. I think the closest target Is a couple of minutes away. So we'll hit there. Like I said, I'm looking for elf fill up the nails really quick and then We'll get back quickly do the brows and I'll run you through the fits that I plan to wear and everything you can get a closer look at like how I'm prepping like that I don't think my Amazon package was delivered today which is like my makeup bag so we won't pack that this time around but if you are interested in seeing like the packing for New York Fashion Week getting everything in my actual suitcase plus like the makeup and all that kind of beauty stuff how I pack that go ahead and comment please share the packing tips because I need those down below and I will make sure to figure out a way to share that with you whether it's like a YouTube shorts or including that in like the New York Fashion Week itself video.
safety section. Personal care. Right that way. Let's see if we can leave with just what we decided to come for in today's mission of Target. <laughs> Here we go. L. Precision brow. It's just clear. Okay. One thing down. Um, I'm looking for. Because I have my NYX lip pencils. I don't need that. Nail polish. I did it y'all. I have just the three items that I came for and we're in the checkout line. I think we're gonna make it back with enough time to take Anna for a walk and do my live. Very proud, very proud. Back in the house, lashes done. Only got what I needed from Tarjay. Honestly, Target doesn't get me like that as often as it used to. Fun fact, that's because my first ever kind of viral video for my channel was a budgeting video. <laughs> so I like have a mental budget checklist. Like I don't need to spend more than this. And especially when I have a bigger goal in mind, like I'm trying to ball out at New York Fashion Week, I wanna buy or shop or enjoy myself. I'm pretty good at like, I don't need to spend any extra money getting ready for the trip that I'd rather spend on the trip. So I'm really, really happy with getting what I needed to get. Gonna take Anna for a quick walkie so she can go ahead and stretch her little legs. Sniff the sniffs. You wanna say hi, Anna Banana? Look, she's like ready already. Oh, you can't see her. Hold on. Look it. This is how she be waiting on me. Like, I see you and I'm ready to go, but like you keep playing with me. So I'm gonna do that. And then, like I said, I'm gonna take you really quickly, just like tweezing up the brow, showing you how I kind of like shape and take care of that. And we will get into the actual fits for New York Fashion Week, the shows, all that fun stuff. So I will meet you in the bathroom. And this is what we are using to get these eyebrows together. Just like a cute little razor situation, some tweezers. And I just have this like very easy oil. You can use any oil if you're gonna like do the little razor situation. I just don't have the patience to tweeze every little thing. And I just honestly was really hoping that we were gonna have time to do that there. Cause the other hard part is obviously like you really should be getting like oil around your lashes right when you get them done. So that's the other reason I'm just gonna do like a quick shape up. Cause I really just, I like having things done when I wanted them done. Like, I don't know if you're like me, but I have like an internal calendar of this is what is supposed to happen by this time, this day. So the brows are supposed to be done today. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. So I'm gonna come in so you guys can see Again, nothing like crazy. I'm just gonna bring it down, really just get all that extra hair off the top because it's been a while. Like, I don't know if you can see all the hair on there, but it's been a while. It's been a while. And especially the underbrow, like you can see that that definitely needs some TLC. And I do like this because that makes sure that I'm staying nice and straight. All right, just super simple. Then obviously gotta get that middle. That middle is also looking crazy, y'all. Like it's looking extra extra foofy and unnecessary um and i literally would just kind of like play it by eye the one love of being like an engineer is that spatial awareness be so real this one i feel like i always kind of screw up just a little because i feel as though like you always have that one brother just feel like it want to be a little wonky but I'm also really trying hard not to like get the oil on my lashes because I'm gonna be really pissed if I do that after sitting there for so long. But I usually will use like this on the out, like the uppers, get everything kind of nice and right and angled. Let me see, I'm liking that. I gotta step away to see, cause that's really gonna tell me if I hit it on the head. Yeah, okay. get this kind of angled let me see because it's always this brow it's like this little top to here right here that always wants to have me looking crazy but actually right and the other thing that throws me off is i have a birthmark right there so that also makes my eye <laughs> my eyebrows like look a little off when they're not just because that little dark spot throws some people off and sometimes myself so i have to pay attention to that then i'm just going to go in with the tweet, actually, I'm gonna use my cute little like reusable cotton things and I'm gonna take off most of this oil. I'm just gonna dab it off really quickly. 
Look at all that gunk. Ugh. But I do love these because they're reusable, so I can just throw them in the wash with my whites. And you can just reuse these cotton pads over and over and over again. Get all that ickiness off. Perfect. Then we're just gonna go in like at the bottom and just kind of clean that up. You can see there's a lot going on underneath here. But the reason I used to actually get my brows waxed, and I love if you are in the Metro Detroit area, these Beauty Bar. I trust her with my brows wholeheartedly. Just the downside is I tend to get those like little irritated bumps whenever I get my eyebrows waxed. So I love just having somebody who's able to tweeze them. And when she re-offered her tweezing option, ooh, I was in there like clockwork, but just because I'm working with Decalash and they do offer brows, I usually try and go through them just to get it all done in one go because that's the other thing like I did not grow up being one of those like salon girls who like spending hours and days in the salon getting done up it's not relaxing for me I'm definitely like I have things I want to do <laughs> so that's the other reason I love getting like the express lashes which is what I usually get from Deca Lash because I'm in and out in under an hour like I was 10 minutes late today and I left out of there like maybe 45 after so Danielle does a great job and again like the express lashes are super easy and their memberships I really really love them as well and then like I said usually she's pretty quick we just had a miscommunication about the brows but she's got my brows together really nicely as well okay we're already looking much better I think a huge part of that was the middle needed to go right I know this side feels like it's coming a little close let me back up right because I feel like you gotta do the zoom test almost like the thumbnail test for all of my other like content creators where you gotta back up and make sure you can still see the font like you know because if i'm too close to my brows sometimes i definitely will like i said jack up the angles and this one always look it just always feels like this one is sharper than this one like this isn't as bad this is actually pretty good for doing it myself i think if i get a little bit underneath there it'll give me a little bit more of an arch and we'll be good Cause I'd rather under tweeze than over tweeze too. Like I definitely had the real thin, thin, thin <laughs> eyebrows back when I first started getting them waxed. Cause I went to our local nail salons where Hmong people, they came over from Laos. So that was a huge population in Wausau, Wisconsin. And they really liked the super thin eyebrows. So they snatched a lot of my thick, like natural bushiness away. And I have been scarred ever since. So I so, so much would rather under tweeze kind of sit with my brows for a day and then go back and like fix it the next day if I feel like there's a little bit more that needs to be done but right super quick super easy very very happy with this mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now the moment I know you have been waiting for let's go look at the fits for New York Fashion Week what I plan to wear all the different events all the things come on come on let's go girl I will be in New York from the 5th through the 9th four glorious days one of the days is literally dedicated to nothing but shopping around. But I know that just being in the vicinity, like one thing I've learned this year, especially as I have completed over a year of full-time content creating is you can't sit in the house. <laughs> like a lot of the internet girls are gonna like tell you, get the email list, get the pitches. A lot, a lot of opportunities still come from meeting people in person and networking and New York Fashion Week, a lot of people think is super exclusive, but the thing really that I have learned is asking around and then just being there, a lot of opportunities are floated your way. So for the fifth, it's gonna be a travel day. I'm leaving probably, I think in the afternoon, because you know how hotels work, let me set my coffee down. <laughs> you know how hotel works, they wanna like wax and dime you on every single thing, so early check-in before 4 p.m. which when did checking get changed to 4 p.m. but I won't be able to check into my room until 4 p.m. so I plan my flight accordingly plus what I have just learned after years of traveling all over the world I'm not trying to feel rushed I don't need that 7 a.m. flight to try and save some money I'm not trying to like scramble and no no like I already lost my pet sitter and had to reschedule that Thankfully, my girl Eden came through and she's going to be watching Anna so I can drop her off Wednesday night. Wake up Thursday morning. It's supposed to be mid-70s. So I'm thinking because Riri, even though she didn't appear in Detroit, did open up her Savage Fenty store and gifted us some gorgeous, super comfortable loungewear. So it's this cute off-the-shoulder black top. 
Plus this just like knitted bottoms as well. And you know I love a good knit pants. And the length of these, as you're seeing, is so perfect. This is just gonna be so comfortable for flying there looking put together because as much as I hate to admit it, as much as I hate to admit it, one thing that my mom put me on when she was throwing bags for Delta as a side job, by the way, like she's a teacher at a technical college. She teaches UX design. In case I never told you that, she's pretty dope. Um, but as a side job, when I was in like high school going into college, she would throw bags for Delta so that she could fly free and the buddy program. And the huge thing that she always told me was that the people who did, unfortunately, look presentable or more presentable were given free upgrades, were bumped up to first class, made sure they like were on the flight in the first available seat. So I've always, always, always kept that in mind. Like generally, obviously you'll catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Always friendly and I always do keep that in mind as I get dressed for the airport. And that's why you won't really see me in sweats super often unless it's like I'm going to visit family and zero, zero fucks, zero energy can be given. So this is gonna be so easy to throw on and dress up. Plus I can wear this and double it up as like PJs once I'm there, um, depending on how like hot it is because I looked at the weather and the weather should be like mid 70s. I'm thinking 79 is the highest the whole time that I'm there. <clears throat> that gives me a lot of room to play around with because there were a couple of outfits I was panicking because I'm like, I really was planning to wear that and if it's gonna be hot, I'm not trying to be in leather and dying of heat exhaustion no matter how much of a look I'm trying to serve because I am trying to serve looks during this trip. Like if you don't know the difference, when I say like a look, think wisdom, think Janae Naylor whenever she's like actually at New York Fashion Week, right? Like the Valentino boots, the moment, right? versus a fit, which is usually my more everyday outfits, as well as just like when you think of Tanika and people like that, they're everyday, more casual wear. It's like an elevated everyday outfit. So that's a fit, but I want like a look, especially because Friday is going to be essence. The downside is, is I think it's going to rain. So I'm between a couple of things because I feel like for essence, I should wear something black owned. Unfortunately, what I have that I feel would be kind of appropriate is the Hanifa cardigan. However, I think a lot of the girlies are gonna be reaching for that because it's Essence, black owned brands and wearing black owned brands. So I want to find a different piece from a black owned brand, but wear it differently. So my thought is this gorgeous Andrea Iyama Sade cover, okay? You have seen me wear this all up through down and on everything for my vacations. I love it and this color, I just think is so, fun like this citrusy like fall shade. So I'm thinking about doing like the really cool safety pin hack, right? Like this and kind of scrunching it up in the top and maybe in the back, I don't want to do too much damage. But like finding a really easy way to safety pin this up to give a fun layered effect and then layer it over like the go-to cargo jeans from Zara, right? So this is kind of what it's looking like as you can see. I'm really loving this. I'm thinking I'm also gonna add some color though. Like I'm between because burgundy could look really cool. Let me side by side that. Right, I'm thinking this burgundy could be really, really fun. And then I could also pair it then with the Zara burgundy boots. So then I'm just giving like this almost sunset effect, which again, you're seeing me do something different. Like Jordan mixing colors, like mixing colors. Yeah, again, I'm trying to serve a look here and I feel like this is gonna be so fun and playful giving a nod to the trends, also incorporating a black owned brand in a way that I don't think a lot of people are going to do. That is always a Virgo. Again, with that girl for a reason. We just think about what everyone else is gonna wear and then try and figure out like one or two little ways, right? I don't have to be completely left field with it, all right? And so this feels really fun because it's like the dress over jeans trend, like we're playing with a lot there, but still not doing too much and I actually even think I wouldn't even bother with a shirt underneath. I would keep it sheer with like a nude bralette. I'm thinking this is the fit. I'm thinking this is the fit. The other option, you have seen this gorgeous skirt from Devin Windsor. I feel like this is gonna be so fun. I'm not sure if this doesn't get worn to essence because I think this in itself would also be a moment. I know it's not a black designer. I know, I know. And I'm disappointed in myself because there were just so many moving pieces coming from like the end of the trip going into this that like I did not have time to really try and snag some pieces from the black owned girlies that I wanted to get. That wasn't my bad, it was, it was not my bad. And the other thing too is what I love about New York Fashion Week 
is the street style, is seeing how people wear the clothes that they already have. So part of this was also a challenge to just use what I already owned as well. So I'm thinking the Devon Windsor skirt and I have two options for the top, either Stella McCartney going like super casual with this nice kind of like fitted, you know, a nod to that oversized tee over the skirt outfit I put together in that Pinterest video, right? But this, right, like this could be fun. I could pair this with some sneakers so like super comfortable because the other thing about the Essence event, it's from five to 10. That's a long day. And I'm not sure if it's entirely on our feet, how much we'll be able to sit. So I'm keeping that in mind. So I really want something that, like I said, could be long wear, but super fun. The other option, trying it with a leopard print top, right? Because you know I love me some animal print. This also could be super fun and super easy as well. Lending a lot of just like my personality because it's mixing that, you know, I love me a good island girl look. Like, you know, my vacation wear me. We go together and with the weather still kind of being on the warmer side, this would be such a fun like combo pack as well. So something breathable, comfortable, but still serving again, like closer to a look, not just like a fit, but closer to a look. The last thought I have just in case, if I'm really feeling like a look is throwing on the Devon Windsor skirt with this blazer from H&M I've had for years. This is my favorite holiday special occasion blazer like this gets so many compliments. I've worn this as a birthday dress. I have worn this for like New Year's Eve. This gets so much wear from me. So I think this could be another really fun option layered over the Devon Windsor to give me some coverage, right? So then the yams, I don't gotta worry about that. Like the booty wood cheeks, like, you know what? I ain't, I ain't living that life yet, you know? So this would give me a little bit more modesty, but also just a lot of fun with like all the fringe detailing and stuff played around and then again I could go super casual with the sneakers to have that juxtaposition or I could dress it up with some boots. So those are the three I'm between <laughs> just for day one, just for day one. And the other thing I'm keeping in mind is that I am planning two looks for each day because I do wanna also get content while I'm there. So I wanna make sure that for my portfolio, that's something I'm always, always keeping in mind. And I urge you as a creator or you're trying to be an influencer, Keep those things in mind too. Like these are opportunities, even if you didn't get paid to be there, even if a brand didn't ask you to be there, these are great opportunities, not only for networking, but to build your portfolio. So for me showing that I was in New York, I'm gonna make sure I get some really good content in the hotel as well, builds my portfolio out to give me more opportunities as a small creator. So the next day, the events don't start until one and it is four different fashion shows. One at one, one at four, one at seven, one at 10. So I'm trying to figure out how I wanna play that because part of me feels like I could wear the same outfit for the first two shows, which are, let me make sure I have the names right. The 1 p.m. is Kilnana Dreyer Dare? Dreyer Dare, Dreyer Dare. Look, I'm gonna post it up on the side because I'm gonna kill the name, but then Kuvad, hopefully I'm saying that right, Kuvad Kapoor. Then I also have 4 p.m. This one I am very excited about. Note Quell and Darren Apolino. Darren Apolino was, was actually part of Project Runway, which is so, so exciting. The other one that I'm actually super excited for is a 7 p.m. show. So it's Milaria. I'm gonna, Malari. So it's Malari and Chris Nick. And Chris Nick is actually from the Philippines. So I feel like that's such a fun kind of like full circle-ish. Like I just spent two weeks there. My bestie is from the Philippines. So having like one of my first opportunities at New York Fashion Week to be attending a Philippines designer so dope and then there's the last show at 10 p.m it's a stacked day but i want to show you the different kinds of shows and the different kind of pieces that aren't just like the designer designer because the other opportunity that a lot of y'all be missing out on again not just like for new york fashion week but in general you're going after the same big whales that everyone else is and there's so many other big whales that you don't know exist because you're so focused on like i'm trying to get invited to prada and gucci and that's great and those those opportunities would be amazing, but there are all these other designers who are trying to get their pieces out there. These other showcases that you can be a part of and, and ask to like wear their pieces and shows to attend. So don't just look at the big designers that are going on and think about that. So for day two, my thought is two outfits again. I wanna do something really, really playful. I got these fun pieces from Fashion Nova because Green's gonna be having a moment and I think that this is gonna work really, really well. I have this, hold on, super cute sweater from Fashion Nova. Yep, your girl's gonna be in Fashion Nova. 
because it looks really, really good. I love the quality and I've wanted to put together a really fun monochrome look. So not only do I have this sweater, I'm gonna pair it with these leather pants. That's right, I have been trying to get more colored leather pants. I have always eyed up like the animal print ones, the colored ones, and just haven't found a pair that fits. So I'm really excited because this is how the look is coming together. And I think for accessories, I'm gonna go full monochrome. I think I'm really gonna commit, do the green bag from Teddy Blake, do the green sneakers from like my Tech Harris because that's gonna be a comfortable outfit in case I'm just feeling the vibes and don't wanna go back and change for the rest of the shows. Like if I choose I wanna be there from like one to four, go walk and grab some dinner, come back for seven to 10, this outfit will absolutely get me through that. However, the other option I wanna play with, I've wanted to recreate this look for a while. I have this leopard print maxi dress from a firm, so gorgeous, so chic, and then pairing it with just this really fun blazer over top. I was eyeing up this one from Zara, but I was not able to get it here in time. <laughs> because they just dropped it, but I've had this one for a while. So this is what the look is coming out to be. And I think this is gonna be so fun. Also pairing this with burgundy is really my thought is again, bringing back the Zara boots, the Marc Jacobs tote. And the reason I'm picking bigger bags is because I'm gonna have all kinds of content things like the DJI, my Sony camera, like the girl's gonna want to get all the content. And I'm gonna need a bag that fits everything I need it to fit. So that's my other struggle because I was really trying to figure out how to bring my Nia Blackwood bag and some of those things. So still working that out, finalizing what that looks like if I'm 100% honest. Then Sunday, honestly, I have nothing official planned besides hitting all the pop-up stores. Faye Noel's having a pop-up. Um, I think River Island and ASOS usually have some kind of pop-up activation. I'm trying to find those. I'm trying to find the people. I'm trying to find the contact information. Also, I'm trying to shop because it will be my birthday and I will be treating myself besides to this trip to New York with hopefully a couple of pieces while I'm there. So my thought is this denim jumpsuit also from Fashion Nova with the bare legs. Look at this. Look at this. Like, again, it's just so easy and so cool, girl. And I really envision dressing this up maybe with some leopard print accessories or some color, right? I'm not sure how I wanna zhuzh this up just yet, but this is such a good walking around, easy to wear, I'm gonna look put together, and still serving, this is more of a fit, right? Because that's what Sunday's gonna be for me, is more casual, more hanging about. I'm not really expecting to go to any shows, but I'm going to think of a third outfit to bring just in case, because like I said, that is what tends to happen often, is like, you'll randomly just get invited to other things going on once you're there. So that's the other reason I'm trying to have quite a few outfits, some things that I can mix and match because there are just some unplanned things, like unplanned blessings, places you should be, places you should hang. So this is, I think, right now what I've got so far, right? Five different outfits right now. So for the fact that I'll be there four days, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. I think that is pretty much everything that needed to get done today. We got the lashes, we got the brows, a little DIY moment there. Ran to Target, showed you all the fits. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing this. In fact, if you love seeing what I plan to wear, what I wear to certain things, check out my entire playlist on outfit ideas with more tips and tricks on how to find the right pieces that are gonna make you look and feel amazing. But before you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you do not miss the New York Fashion Week content, what I did, where I stayed, all the things, all the teens. And thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you over there.